In the beginning, God created the universe. The earth was covered in darkness and water, and the Spirit of God hovered over the surface of the water. Day one, light was created, and day and night were separated. Day two, the sky and clouds were created. Day three, the sea and land were created, and plants, including grass, vegetables, and trees, emerged. Day four, the sun, moon, and stars were created, and seasons came into existence. Day five, Creatures that live in the sea and creatures that fly in the sky were created. Day six, all life on land was created. Then, God created humans, male and female, in the image of God who all other living creatures and made them prosper. Day seven, God rested and blessed this day, making it holy. Welcome to the Garden of Eden. This place, dwelling place of humanity, where tranquil forests and mysterious rivers intertwine to create a haven of unparalleled beauty. Eden is a place filled with mystery and enchantment, a sanctuary where humanity's journey began. In Eden, God created Adam and Eve, and they experienced a harmonious coexistence with God in the midst of his creation. Eden was like a paradise, peaceful and breathtaking. However, Human choices led to disobedience in the Garden of Eden. Adam, against an Eve, God's command, partook of the forbidden fruit. Expelled from Eden, Adam and Eve faced the trials and tribulations of life. Yet, the Bible offers us hope, proclaiming forgiveness and the opportunity for a new beginning. Even as they departed from Eden, the story reminds us of God's love and grace. Do you know the story of the first murder in human history and the fate of two brothers? The dawn of creation grew darker because of their tale. Cain and Abel, through agriculture, deepened their bond in the blessings of the earth. However, the shadow of destiny descended upon them. Cain became jealous because he thought Abel's offering would be more favorably accepted by God. Cain's heart was enveloped in darkness, an imminent storm of anger, the very source of sin. With determination, Cain thrust Abel into death. The brother's tragic history began that day. Cain, consumed by remorse, wept for the death he caused. Those tears marked the beginning of forgiveness. In Cain and Abel's story, we experience the processes of sin, repentance, tears, and forgiveness. The Bible emphasizes the perils of sin and the significance of forgiveness, teaching people the path of repentance and forgiveness. Is there anyone in the world who has not experienced the finality of death? That mysterious figure is none other than Enoch. He is recorded as a person who did not experience death, but went directly to heaven in a state of living. According to Genesis 5.24, Enoch lived for 365 years and suddenly, instead of facing death, his life continued as he was taken by God. Enoch, described as full of faith and piety, enjoyed a close relationship with God. His life garnered God's pleasure, and the reward he received was not death, but a direct ascent to heaven. Enoch's story is filled with mystery and wonder. Above all, his life demonstrates how faith and walking the righteous path can yield unimaginable rewards. Enoch's story prompts us to contemplate the power of faith and a deeper connection with God. The enigmatic beings known as Nephilim, described as powerful enough to shake the earth with their strength, are mentioned in Genesis chapter 6, verse 1 through 4 in the Bible. In this passage, Nephilim are referred to as the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. The emphasis is on their appearance on earth, suggesting that they were the result of unions between divine beings and human women. Although the passage is brief, it alludes to the mysterious interaction between angels and humans, resulting in the enigmatic Nephilim. Described as ancient renowned heroes, the verse remains a source of fascination with interpretations spanning religious and mythological perspectives. The prevalent interpretation suggests that these beings, the Nephilim, were born from the unions of angels and human women, creating a mysterious and legendary presence that continues to captivate human imagination. In the ancient world, sin multiplied and humanity crumbled under its weight. One day, God gave Noah a special mission to build a large ark and save yourself, your family, and various animals. Despite mockery and criticism from others, Noah obediently began constructing the ark. Noah silently built the ark for about 125 years. The ark, a massive and sturdy vessel, was designed to escape the flood and fulfill God's command to rescue humanity and animals. As the deluge began with raging storms, Noah's family and the animals found safety within the ark for about 380 days. The ark became a 
refuge during the flood, marking a new beginning for humanity. God displayed a rainbow, symbolizing his promise never to judge the world with a flood again. This story imparts meaning to us about faith, obedience, and the significance of God's promises. Even after the great flood purified the world, humanity remained steeped in wrongdoing and sin. Defying God's will, they, with a prideful heart opposing the reasons behind the flood, began erecting the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel was not merely a structure, it symbolized human arrogance and defiance against God. Humanity sought to ascend to the heavens, surpassing God with their own strength and wisdom. However, God, in response to their foolish pride and arrogance, confused their language. As they began using different languages, a great confusion ensued, and the Tower of Babel collapsed from them. Today, this event serves as a crucial reminder, making us contemplate whether, the guise of scientific progress and human convenience, humanity is once again challenging God attempting to another build Tower of Babel. Abraham lived in Ur of Mesopotamia around 2000 BC. Responding to God's call, he left his homeland and embarked on a journey, taking each step in faith. Although he and his wife Sarah had no children even in their old age, they believed in God's promise and had hope, promised that he would have descendants as numerous as the stars. Eventually, Abraham's name was changed to Abraham, and at ages 190, respectively, he and Sarah miraculously gave birth to their son Isaac. Moreover, in a test of faith, Abraham obediently ascended Mount Moriah to offer Isaac as commanded. In this moment of obedience, Abraham demonstrated unwavering faith, passing the test. As a result, he earned the title of the Father of Faith, and his journey became a source of blessing for future generations. Sodom and Gomorrah were filled with sin and corruption, drawing God's wrath. Abraham's nephew Lot and his family had settled in Sodom. Seeking mercy for the region, Abraham negotiated with God, who would not to destroy the city if even a small number of righteous people could be found. Unfortunately, no righteous individuals were found. Two angels arrived in Sodom to rescue Lot, who hosted them in his home. However, the inhabitants of Sodom ignored God's warning and committed wicked acts. As Lot and his family were fleeing the city, God commanded them not to look back, but wife disobeyed and turned into a pillar of salt. God then brought destruction upon Sodom and Gomorrah as a punishment for their sins, sparing Lot and his two daughters in the process. This story illustrates God's righteous judgment and the consequences of human disobedience, conveying moral lessons. Isaac is the son born to Abraham and Sarah when they were 190 years old and was born through God's promise. His name means laughter. Growing up, Isaac faced various trials alongside his father, Abraham. One of the most well-known events is when God commanded Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice on Mount Moriah. In a display of obedience and faith, Isaac ascended the mountain with his father, Abraham, showcasing their submission to God's will and providence. However, at the last moment, God provided a ram as a substitute, symbolizing future redemption. Isaac, through his marriage to Rebekah, became the father of Esau and Jacob. His descendants later formed the 12 tribes of Israel, playing a crucial role in Israelite history. Isaac's life exemplifies fidelity and obedience to God's promises and guidance. His story in the Bible serves as a model of faith and devotion. Joseph was especially loved by his father Jacob. The brothers, consumed by jealousy, sold Joseph to a merchant as a slave in Egypt. Afterwards, he was sold as a slave to the house of Potiphar, the captain of Pharaoh's bodyguard, and there he was falsely accused by his master's wife and imprisoned, where he suffered for about 13 years. However, his outstanding ability to interpret dreams was recognized, and he was summoned to the Pharaoh. Joseph foresaw a famine and planned to store grain in preparation for it. As a result, when famine struck Egypt and the surrounding region, there was enough food stored here that many people were saved, and he became prime minister. When the family later came to visit Joseph, he revealed his identity to his brothers, forgave them, and reunited the family. This is an amazing story of what happens if you fear God even in the midst of hardship and adversity. According to the book of Isaiah and the Apocrypha book of Enoch, 
Lucifer was an archangel who was trusted by the dignified angels of high rank, who were in charge of praise. His original name is Luciel, which means shining star. However, Lucifer was fascinated by his own light and beauty, and became arrogant, coveting God's place and rebelling. At this time, one third of the angels joined Lucifer's side and raised an army. This leads Lucifer to battle Archangel Michael, but is ultimately defeated. Eventually, they are banished to hell and reduced to an existence full of darkness and corruption. Lucifer became the king of devils and continues to tempt humans into evil to this day. This incident highlights the devastating consequences of pride and corruption and the importance of humility and obedience. Here is the list of the top six longest lived individuals in the Bible. Top six. Kenan, the son of Anash, lived to be nine, ten years old. He died before the great flood. Top five. Seth, the third son of Adam, was born after the tragic event where Cain killed Abel. He lived for nine, twelve years. Top four. Adam, the first human created by God, lived for 930 years. Top three. Noah, known for the story of Noah's Ark, lived for 950 years. He fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth after surviving the flood. Top two. Jared, the father of Enoch, he lived to be 962 years old. Top one. Methuselah, the son of Enoch, holds the record as the longest lived person in the Bible. Died at the age of 969. Enoch, Methuselah's father, did not experience death but was taken directly to heaven.